All right, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. As you guys can see, we are at an undisclosed location, a whole bunch of traffic going on in the background. So I'm sorry if that messes with the audio a little bit. But you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, we're finally going to tell you guys what the hell I did to get this car to look like this. All right, y'all. So it's your boy J.I. Like I said, man, I'm going to be telling you guys in this video what all I've done to this car to get it to look like this, man, from the wheels all the way to the performance mods, man. Every single last detail, whether it be big or small, expensive or cheap or free, is going to be in this video, man. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Man. Coming in hot, man, the most a thing that grabs your attention is going to be the wheels, man. On this car, we are running a 6th Gen 1L wheel from MRR that came in a gloss black finish. And then I had them custom painted, shout out to my boy Lucas, candy apple red with a platinum silver flake. So they dance when the light hits it. And then going behind the wheel, we have the two, this car is a 2SS, so it comes with the Brembos. Um, we went ahead and painted them white to match the paint of the car and then put the drilled and slotted rotors on. What? On, rotors on from R1 Concepts. Now I'm not gonna cap the brake pads from R1 Concepts. Still have a whole bunch of brake dust, as you guys can see. All of that dirt that's in there, that's all brake dust, man. And it's the same thing on the front. Now, the front is not as bad as the rear, but it's definitely still an issue that I could honestly um, rather be do without, but you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. Now, moving from the wheels, you go to the second thing that grabs your attention the most in the front end, and that's gonna be the front splitter, man. So, this is a C7 carbon, carbon fiber front splitter, the Z28 style front splitter. I think it just looks so aggressive, um, and it really takes the front end to a completely different level. I'll show you guys right here. Just look at that stance. It's hella aggressive and looks amazing. Moving on to the center, we have the Z28 front grill. Upper, of course, they don't make a lower, unfortunately, but I got something coming to that. Then, as you guys can see, we have the whole halo kit from Lighting Trends. As of right now, some of the lights don't work, so I'm not gonna turn them on, but I will insert a picture of everything on. So, here it is. Yeah, man, as you guys can see, we have the DRLs, we have the Demon Eyes, we also have the Flow Series Halo Ring, the Fog Lights, um, and it, it just looks amazing when everything's working. I have the new Fog Light coming because this one is broken. Um, I have the controller for the Halo Rings on the inside, the Flow Series, um, and some other little gibbets I can't tell you guys too much, but don't worry, the front end, as far as lighting goes, will be back on track. It's just, you know, going through it right now. Then we have the ZL1 add-ons tow hook. Now, for everybody who's wondering, yes. You can pull on my tow hook. Yes, it is actually mounted to the chassis. Yes. No, it is not just stuck onto the bumper like some freaking tape. What? Yes, somebody's asked me that. I don't know why. Now, moving on to the side, we have the clear LED side markers. Everybody's been asking me where I got those. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to keep it on wraps because it took me a fat minute to find them and get them. So, I had to keep that one on low. I'm sorry, y'all. Then, moving on to the side, we have the carbon fiber side skirts. Looks so freaking good to me, in my opinion. It replaces the entire side skirt. Looks so good, man. Just... Just look at that carbon weave, man. Jeez, my car's dirty, don't you? Don't, don't mind it, it's dirty, okay? Then we have these carbon fiber door handle covers. I got these off of eBay. They were cheap, like $20, man. Honestly, I don't really like the weave on them because it doesn't match side skirts, nor the front splitter, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? You work with what you got. Now, moving on to the rear. I just noticed somebody stole my freaking valve cap. I am so dead. Now moving to the rear man, we have the ZL1 add-ons wicker bill. Dude, I will forever love this wicker bill man. It looks amazing. Now, 
I think in my personal opinion, if you're gonna put a ripper door on the car or get a spoiler on this car and you wanna keep the stock spoiler, just throw the Z01 add-ons wicker bill. They got some wicker bills that are just the black piece and doesn't have the epoxy piece, man, and it just doesn't look good to me. I don't know if I said that right. If it's not epoxy, don't roast me in the comments. It's plastic, okay? It's plastic. You know what I'm saying? So I really like that Wicker build. It looks amazing to me. Went ahead and did the quad tips. Everybody that's been asking me, no, this is not an aftermarket diffuser. It is the stock single tip diffuser. But me and my boy Versatile did a few modifications to get the quad tips to fit when I went to get them installed. Now that brings me to the exhaust. With the exhaust, this is a basically fully straight pipe catless car with Texas Speed long tube headers 178 and then three inch piping all the way back to four and a half inch quads. And this is what she says. No, I'm not gonna rev it because, you know what I'm saying, as you guys can see, I am in a nice neighborhood, it is peaceful. Um, I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly where I'm at, just know I'm in a neighborhood, so I'm not gonna rev it. If you wanna hear the car going stupid, I definitely have a video of hard pulls, revving, flybys, the works, man, so make sure you guys go check it out. But that is without the headers. That was just straight catless, three inch piping all the way back, so don't expect it to sound the way that it sounds now. Now, with that being said, with all that being said, man, that's a full walk around of the car. You guys have seen everything um, on the outside. The window tent, I have 5% all around and then 35 on the windshield. For everybody who's been asking me, it's 35 on the windshield, okay? 35. Now, as you guys can see, we got the JI sticker there. And then we have the JI Mamba logo right there. Now, those decals are available on the Instagram, official underscore BYL dot shop. Make sure you guys go tap in and get your merch. Um, now that is literally it as far as the exterior goes. Now we have two things we need to, well three more things we need to show you. We gotta show you the trunk, we gotta show you the hood, and we gotta show you the interior. Now since we're standing right here, I'm gonna show you guys underneath the hood. It's nothing too crazy, so let's go ahead and pop it. So, under the hood, man, like I said, we have the Texas Speed 178 long tube headers, catalyst. Then we have the MSD spark plug wires. We have the Roto Fab coder intake and the Mishimoto oil catch can. Huge shout out to Mishimoto for sponsoring the kid, sponsoring the build, and sending us out an oil catch can because you definitely need one, especially if you own a V8 or a car that's boosted, man. You're definitely gonna want you want to get you an oil catch can. Um, if you don't know how to drain it or whatnot, change out the fluid and whatnot. Uh, check out one of my videos. I have a video showing you guys how, you know what I'm saying, you drain the catch can before it overfills. Now, with all that being said, that's pretty much it for the engine bay. There's literally not that much done to it yet. Mind you, I say yet. So y'all stay tuned because I got some crazy stuff coming for the engine bay. A lot of dress up stuff, but a lot of, um, a lot of motor work as well. So y'all be ready, man. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and hop to the trunk, man, because this is honestly one of my favorite parts of the car. All right, y'all, so going into the trunk, man, like I said, one of my favorite parts of the car, man. So, as you guys can see, we got the white marble floors in the trunk. Everybody does wood floors when it comes to their trunk setup for bags. Everybody does it. So, we had to be different. Huge shout out to my boy, Mel. Huge shout out to my boy, Kishi. Huge shout out to the guys, man, for real, for real. Everybody who had a part or took part in getting this done, getting the tank mounted up and all of that, man, I really appreciate you guys. Um, now, for the tank, a lot of people have been asking, no, this is not the final stages of the tank. Yes, the tank is going to be painted. Yes, I have something planned for the tank, okay? So, y'all just stay tuned, bruh. It's not even done. This is just the beginning stages. Now, with all that being said, and we're done with the trunk, Let's hop in the cockpit. All right, y'all, so hopping into the cockpit, man, you open up the door, and what are you greeted by? That black interior, you dig what I'm saying? 
the gray um, smoke, charcoal gray door carts. You got the Chevy on the door right there, the door seal you did. You take a seat, pop the pop that open, get some sunlight in here. And you greeted by the red carbon going through the entire dash, man. Sheesh, let me get let me get some light going for y'all. Red carbon in through the entire dash. Then you have two shout out to my guys over there at full option. You do know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all go tap in with them, get you some air fresheners or foam mounts. Um, got my camera mount right there, got my dash cam right here, got the red carbon on the shift knob, the red paddle extender uh, extensions, you know what I'm saying? Got the Remote for the bags mounted up all nice like, you know, my backpack for my camera and whatnot. You know, nothing crazy, man. You feel me? The interior, I haven't really touched it. I do have a lot planned for it. So you guys stay tuned, man, for real, for real, because you can expect some crazy content coming. Some new seats, possibly. New steering wheel, possibly. Um, yeah, man, I can't take too much, but just know I got a whole bunch of stuff planned, bro. All right, y'all, and just like that, with all that being said, that's actually going to be it. That is literally everything that I have done to the car as far as sound goes, looks goes, performance goes. That's literally everything. Um, if you guys want to get some work done to your car, you have any questions, want to know where I got some of the parts, I am more than happy to answer the questions for you to the best of my ability. If I don't remember where a part comes from, man, please, please do not hate me. Don't think I'm bullshitting. Don't think I'm capping. I'm being dead ass. I buy a lot of car parts, man, and I do so in a very fast manner. So with that being said, I'm running through websites, bro. I really don't remember, so please do not hate me. But with all that being said, man, Mamba's looking so good back there. I think to close out this video, I'm going to go ahead and hit you guys with some B-roll. So please give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if this is helpful for you guys. If you're just getting a Camaro and you're wanting to see, you know, what a uh, decently modified one looks like and what parts you could get to make your car look where you want it to look and how you want it to look, you know what I'm saying, or function how you want it to function. And uh, yeah, man, that's how I wanted Mamba to look. It looks amazing in my personal opinion. And uh, yeah, man, thank you guys for stopping in. Enjoy this B-roll.